Okay, for some reason. Uh, I'll only want to be watching now later on on YouTube, hidden in here along with. Fakir. And apparently, this capture isn't wanting to work. No. It worked earlier. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, it works like that, but I'll have to just max that out big time then. Uh, yeah, welcome to Something Sunday. And today I wanted to show off this old game called Ignition. Uh, better size it up a bit more. Commands. There we go, that'll have to do. Uh, the only fills in part of the screen, but uh, yeah, this is an old ass game. And, uh. <laughs> it, I believe this game is from the. No, 90. I think this is from the 90s, actually. It looks like it has a lot of Scandinavian names. Uh, let me lower that volume a bit. I think I might be drowning things out. So, minus... Not minus 40, stupid thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, th this is... Uh, yeah, it says right here. An old game by Virgin Interactive. And uh, yeah, this is one of those games that I grew up with. The thing. So yeah, as is obvious, it's a racer. It's an arcade uh, isometric racer. And let's jump into a championship. Yeah, we probably will be sticking with this game only shortly because there is... It's fun, I'd say personally, and I put like hundreds of hours in it myself probably, but it's not... Um, it's probably not going to be too entertaining for anyone watching. We have a, a good bunch of cars here, like the Redneck, good all around, the school bus, the bug, smoke, coop, banana, <laughs> evac, and the enforcer. I typically go with the Redneck. And yeah, that besides this is a car that we don't have access to yet. This looks better than the infantry that uh, we had earlier. Okay. Not by much. Shortcut there. Space was it, okay, yeah. And yeah. Oops, how, how did that one get me in front of us? Yeah, we have uh, okay, invisible wall hit. Uh, yeah, we have a. Uh, we have a boost on the right there that, that automatically charges. And yeah, things are very bouncy in this game. As we'll come to see once we are done with this part. Yeah, I forget what that, that car in front of it is name, but as for, whenever I played it, it was always already unlocked. And yep, yeah, extra bouncy here. And that, that thing has been a thorn in my side since who low knows how long it does not fall off because we can get ourselves destroyed. The banana's gotten quite a lead on us apparently. Because I don't even see it anymore. Oh, there it is. And uh, oh, the monster truck just got flattened. <laughs> Uh, it, it's, oh, it's an arcade game, so you just get put back right where you, you know, right where you were if you get destroyed or go off the rails. And uh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> when you get underneath something heavy or underneath a different car, you just get flattened instead. But it will reverse your controls for a while. Ah, that is, uh, D-pop, basically. Yeah. If I use the term correctly. 
And if it seems that I'm having a bit of trouble with this, that's because the difficulty is set to intermediate at the moment, not novice as it starts out. Because I, I played this game a bit on my own time. Because, well, I, like I said, it's a game I grew up with. <laughs> I just wanted a bit of nostalgia from playing it again. They really are ahead of me. I hope I get more from this. Uh, if that's, that's to be a problem, then we can just move on a bit. Uh, hold on. Well, Okay, for some reason OBS oversized the screen beyond what I said it as. Let me just fix that. Like part of it was showing outside, even though I specifically pulled it to here. Oh, that's the enforcer I heard. Each of the cars makes their own sounds when they boost. Be right back. Okay. Okay, yeah, they were almost a full ten, okay, uh, ten seconds ahead of me. And, of course, <laughs> Smoke got himself stuck. Uh, let's just end that suffering. Okay, next one. I don't think there's an actual startup boost, except if you just use the boost yourself. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, let me put. Nope. My first place, get out of the way. Bye bye. Nope. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> I stuck to the wall like a freaking spider there. Okay, that's going to be a freaking highlight. Get away. This way. Come on. Oh, oh, wait. And I did not hear if he was destroyed there. We can check behind us with control. I'm never going to be able to replicate whatever happened on the <laughs> just ahead here. Uh, uh, you you missed it, but I almost fell off the map, but for some reason just clung to the absolute edge. <laughs> okay. That is a lot of you. Oh, yeah, I, I'll have, I'll highlight it and send it to you after. <laughs> And yeah, there, whenever, whenever there's walls along their side of the road, then there's invisible walls keeping you from flying off as well. So even if you, even if you're bouncing around, you'll sit. You're not going to get crashed from that. on replicating whatever that was. Mostly because they're right behind me. I saw them at the top there. Who's... Is that an enforcer? And yeah, on that point, you can... You, you can crash into other racers if they're crossing from the other side. <laughs> Oh, it was Enforcer. Okay. Ah, Mon. Okay, the car's name is probably Monster then. And Smoke in absolute dead last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if it's not Smoke in last, then it's uh, Evac, typically. And this is the basic level. Or, Smoke getting bullied. <laughs> This is the first level, and yeah, as you can see, the AI isn't too smart when it comes to dodging obstacles.
Ugh. I think this level is called Moose Falls or something. And yeah, obviously, it's supposed to be set in... Yeah, maybe not obviously, but it's supposed to be set in Canada. Uh, yeah. The previous level was supposed to be, well, any aquatic area or island chain. And yeah, the first one was obviously Aztec. So, Brazil and South America. Yep. Struck by lightning, which causes you to fly out. Lightning only happens in this level, I think. Oh, but there's no point that it just means to Yeah, there's none. Yeah, there's a point there. The video on the Okay, intermediary is kind of turning out to be a bit disappointing difficulty because, yeah, I'm just, except for the first mission level, first track, I'm just, I'm just leading the pack the whole time, so that gets a bit boring. And uh, yeah, no, novice difficulty was just an absolute bore. But after this championship, because it's the second one that I've played on uh, this inst installation of the game, there's not really a save file in the system. But, uh, yeah, for, with each championship you unlock, or you should unlock some extra stuff. And Monster in second. And Forcer in third. And I, I do like this bit, that you can just... Look, keep an, you know, keep an eye on the track and see them keep going like that. And of course, smoke it dead freaking last because it can't turn for shit. And the last one, in, well, this should be the last one unless they extend the championships. Yeah, this is supposed to be the Alps or such. So Come on, let me, let me... Come on. Nope, oh, that is a crash zone. Not, no, not a crash zone, but if you go there, you will be forced to take a longer route. And yeah, this, may, this level has a few of those jumps like that, for which it is advisable to save your, your boost. Oh, come on. Because otherwise there's a good chance you might not uh, survive or like that. What the heck? Yeah, that was an avalanche. And that then, uh, they will spark me stuff. A little bit out of place. Okay, charge up. There we go. Someone is just ahead of us here, probably Monstar. Yeah, there he is. I could have taken that jump, but it is a bit of a risky one to, as a shortcut, because you can end up bouncing around quite a while. Okay, the jump. Out of this jump again, and okay, he's, he has a pretty good lead on us. Just barely dodged that. Yeah, that, that was uh, close. Okay. We are gaining though. Yeah, oh, come on, let me pass. Of course. Yeah, the AI has a lot more sparing with its boosts. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah, that shows how the being bouncy can be a detriment is here as well. Yeah, it was probably a bad choice because, yeah, I would have needed that. Monster is also taking this route. Okay. It's been using the other, the normal ones otherwise. Okay. Come on. 
down. Okay, if we'd been a bit slower to both of us, he would have been caught up in the avalanche there. Save up the boost for the shortcut. Rather the jump. Oh, he's taking the long route. But not enough to catch up. <laughs> Banana was that close on us. Okay. And as usual, Smoke seems to be in absolute dead lost yet again. You can't see him go so down. Okay, so we are extending the championship. It was only four races before, but now there is a fifth level unlocked. Okay. I think I'm uh, miscounting. Sir. No monster right on my tail, and <laughs> that's Enforcer gone. Take it, keep an eye on the Twister. Maybe I'll. Oh, almost, got, <laughs> almost got crushed there. Uh, yeah, as I said, I, I personally find this game pretty fun, but it would not be fun enough for it. Someone just exploded on the mind part. It would not be fun for uh, streaming. Oh, no, not fun, not fun long enough for streaming. Yeah. I think that's really the only way for people that they get excited to see the game from Wii I get out of the way. Ooh, okay, that was a close call on the both of us. And that's me flattened. Okay, Monster's going to take this round, but I think overall we might still have to win, or at least second place. Ugh. Okay, a little spin for some reason. Ugh. Yeah, the, the AI just absolutely does not know how to dodge the obstacles. Oh, Cape Thor. Yeah, I, did. I think this one is the closest to you. Come on, let's... This is a race, not a cuddle. This map is pretty clearly designed to uh, look like Scandinavia. Forgot that there's a split there. Um, okay, that was... <laughs> yeah, that was jumping over a volcano. Got lost, monster. Uh, I with my... Um... French health burger? <laughs> yeah, they were experimenting and I... Seems to work, just next time I just use a bit more butter on the bread. Okay. Let's hope I can eat it. Stay away, except... Yeah, that was a wasted boost. But yeah, this is... Uh, this mission is... Or this track is called Cape Thor. And well, obvious Scandinavia. A four. Game. Okay. okay, is the volcano clear? The volcano's not clear. <laughs> yeah, jumping over that is a complete gamble. It... I will... <laughs> and that was a geyser. Uh, geyser. Uh, this must be Iceland, but there's no volcano in Scandinavia. Except for Iceland. Also works in. And yeah, monster just playing the far freaking ahead of us, and even more so now. The 
Yeah, monster has this money in the bank. Uh, I hope we still have enough points to win the championship itself, though. I, did, I didn't see what uh, the point gap was. Because I accidentally skipped past that. Okay, okay, no clear, please, please. Yes. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> the game's just picking on me. At the very least, I hope I can still unlock the next stuff. Oh, we are bug and banana battling for third. Oh, it's not much of a battle anymore. Still. No. Forcer. And where the hell is smoke? Go, <laughs> oh, come on! Uh. Oh, he's just there. On the boats. <laughs> we we lost by one point. We're... Congratulations, you Congratulations, you completed the amateur uh, championship at second place with a score of 46 points. You must achieve gold status to advance. Okay, so no unlocks then, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah, no new cars. And the last level is also just blocked to us still. Oh well. And yeah, we have Moose Jaw Falls, Gold Rush, of course America, Snake Island, as I said, just an island chain, Lost Ruins, Yodel Peaks, so it's more the Alps, and Cape Thor, and well, Tokyo Bullet, is, it says it in the name. Oh. Well, yeah, let's... I've never really tried this one, Pursue Mode. So, let's see what that does. I think this is, this is probably just an Elimination Mode. And I'm, I'm just doing this because I'm curious. And after this... Uh, after this, we'll end it and move on to the next game. Smoke, how did you get ahead? Almost got hit by lightning. Yeah, it is possible to fail some of these jumps if you don't have enough speed or your top speed is too low. Wait, that is taking it on every damn racing game. I get the feeling that this is just elimination, and at the moment it's Bug who's in last pace. Let's wait for that to pass. And yeah, Bug exploded. So it is elimination. Still, for amateur difficulty, they're still being rather easy. Or maybe I'm just too experienced with racing games. I'm not me making both amateur mistakes. Monsters in third, not second for once. And that 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 car has been like my rival for who knows how many years when I played this game. Back like over two decades ago. Maybe. <laughs> There's another one who blew up. This in the middle. We don't think the smoke should be put on here because it's like, you know, massive chalk. I think it was smoke who blew up there. Uh, there. Yeah. Well, we do you think it has some advantage just by you can push everyone around or something, but... There's not yeah. really weight uh, in the... There's not really a weight status. All of these uh, cars are the same amount of weight and the same amount of floats. So they're not yeah. Okay, who is going to bite it? Banana or Enforcer? Okay, it looks like, yeah, it's going to be Banana. I, I like the little explosion animation on the bar on the left side as well. <laughs> uh, 
I'm still monst monsters gaining. Okay, or not? Yeah, that, that bar is a bit inaccurate. Uh, yeah, we have this in the bag. Um, more than clear enough. Uh, okay. Yeah, just a little retro nostalgia game that uh, I wanted to show off. Is it the newer monster remaining? Can you repeat that? The newer monster remaining. Yeah. So once I cross the finish line, this is over, and yeah, I have a lead that we just can't catch up with. Uh, unless I blow myself up here. Yeah, if, if you run into the tractor there, obviously you exploded. Did he just crush into the tractor? Good chance. And let's not go again. Instead, call it quits here. And then we move on to the next game. It hopefully will be a lot more agreeable with OBS. And immediately it goes to is not responding. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, this is another old one. And well, the title gives away which it is. Uh, imaginary creatures? Impossible creatures. Uh... I think I've seen that as a bit of a series of that on YouTube. The YouTube did not finish it due to it was crushes, I think. Nordic games, and this also seems. Okay, Nordic and Relic, that explains a few things. Okay, now, let's see, will you capture this game? I see that EXE, Impossible Creatures, and share on YouTube. Yeah, not YouTube, share on Discord. Okay. And it's capturing, okay. New profile made. And uh, yeah, this game is a bit of a 50s, uh, 60s style. It looks very, very good. Let's see how cool it is. Yeah, yeah, let's jump into the campaign. Uh, yeah, this, this game is made by the same people who made uh, Dawn of War, I think. Warhammer 40k. Impossible Creatures Training. Welcome to the tutorial for Impossible yeah. Creatures, a game which takes solid RTS gameplay set in an imaginative and vibrant world and allows you to design your own units so that you can play the game on your terms using your strategies. When you're ready, click on the continue button. On the bottom part of your screen is the taskbar. It displays information about the units that you have selected, as well as the island that you're battling on. In the center of the taskbar is the minimap. The minimap provides you with a high-level view of the island that you... As you progress through the game, you will be asked to do a variety of objectives. Press the flashing button on the right-hand side. Okay, let's just... Let's, let's try and brush through this. Okay. But, uh, yeah. This... This game is a bit quirky, because while well, the loading screen showed the arrow, oh, come on. Camera control. Now I will teach you how to control the... We'll begin by panning the camera. To pan the camera in yeah, any yeah. direction, move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen in the direction that you... Well done. You can keep on panning the camera now until you feel... You can also zoom in and out by rolling your mouse wheel forwards and backwards. Excellent. Continue zooming in. You can also rotate your view. To rotate the camera, hold down the Alt key on your key... Good job. Keep on rotating. To quickly return to the default view at any time, press the default uh, camera view key on your backspace. keyboard. And that's okay. all there is to camera control. At least we can get through this fast. And let's see, we're about... Okay, we... Um, half an hour about... I will now teach you how to select and control your units. To issue an order to a unit under your control, first you need to select them. Select now you can order him to move by right clicking on the ground. Move the henchman out to the exit of the jungle. Excellent. You can also click on the ground that is darkened out in order to move units a long way. Continue to move the henchman back to the village. You will notice a blip on your minimap. This shows you where the village is located. All right. You're the boss. There we go. Okay. 
All right. You're the boss. All right. <laughs> Ready, boss. Uh, hello. Ready, boss. Ready, boss. Hello. To select multiple units at a time, you can drag select them. To drag select units, select both of the henchmen at the village now by drag. Well done. Hello. <laughs> uh, you were going to say? I said, he sounds like he's me, me, me. <laughs> okay, so uh, you are my henchman then? Now I will teach you about you resource gathering. Your boss this the is the lab. The lab is a very important structure. Without it, you're unable to create henchmen which build structures for you. And yeah, this is our MCV slash uh, HQ slash, well, base. In Impossible Creatures, everything that you build costs a certain amount of resource. The amount and of yes, coal it was, and electricity it is you a currently flying have is train. displayed in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Coal is displayed in blue and electricity is displayed in orange. The number displayed in green tells you the maximum number of units that you can have in the world at one time and is called the population cap. Pretty basic relic RTS. You need henchmen. Henchmen are built from the lab. To build a henchman, select the lab. Select the lab. You will now see a create henchman button on the lower right hand side of the taskbar. Go ahead and build two henchmen now by clicking on the create henchman button twice. And nothing too spectacularly different from other relic games. There's two resources, population cap, and a. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Gathering, You're the boss. <laughs> gathering minions. All right. The, the quirky thing with this game is going to be like now the that setting. Now you have some henchmen, you can begin to collect resources. This is coal. You use your henchmen to collect. Collect 100 coal now by selecting the henchmen, then right-clicking on the coal pile. Hello, you're the boss. Okay, might as well make a team. Oh, we can't make extras. Okay, so now we just have to wait. But uh, yeah, the thing that makes this game quirky is, well, the impossible creatures and just the plain setting. Got it in like the 50s and 60s style. Uh, which is going to mean that, uh, yeah, we're going to have some stereotypes when it comes to uh, native people, if I remember correctly. And this game came out in like the, the zeros, so, uh, yeah. Consider that a viewer the discretion type of warning. Is electricity. Okay. electricity yeah. is gathered by building lightning rods yeah. and electrical generators. To begin building a lightning rod, first select a hand. Now click on the build button that's flashed. You will now see a list of structures that you can build. Click yes, on the yes, lightning rod button. You now place the structure by moving your mouse. Go ahead and place the lightning rod shadow somewhere on the terrain by left clicking. The more henchmen you have building this. Okay. Ready, boss. Okay. You get to that as well. Right. Um, I want to say, I want to say yeah, that another thing that's very unique with the, as you said, the impossible creature is you basically get to customize your own units from bottom up. Yep. And I, I always like this now in these types of games. Now lightning rod, you'll automatically collect yeah, more electricity. Charming. The other way of collecting electricity is by building a, this is a geyser. You build an yeah, electrical we met, generator we had one in the same of these way blow up our ass a few times in the previous game. Select a henchman. Now click on the build button. Now click on the ele Now place the electrical generator in the world. The only place that you can build electrical generators is on top of geysers. I'm pretty sure they made this game, just judging by the the quality of the graphics, I'm pretty sure this game probably came like a, a year or two, maybe three before Dawn of War. Uh, I, I actually might stream that game sometime because it's quite good on the story. That's all there is to know about collecting resources. Yeah. Uh, Remember, the faster you are able to collect resources, hmm. the faster you will be able to build an army. I think Dawn's Old War is way younger. This game you play now is much older than Dawn's War. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is still from the zeros. Yeah, this one Structures is from the zero allow sure. you to do many things such as build but creatures and research like... technology. I will now teach you how to build structures Possibly and access some of them more advanced features. I'll do a quick search on Relic Entertainment. Structures are built in the same way that you build a lightning rod and an electrical generator. To begin, we will build a creature chamber. Yeah, Select now we're getting to the real meat of it. Now click on the build button. Now click on the creature chamber. Now place the structure in the world by moving. The creature chamber is the structure that allows you to build creatures that you have created a genetic blueprint for in the army builder. 
it's sad that this hasn't been any remake of this one or any games that are similar to it. Let's see. A few months after being purchased, Relic released its first line. Okay, so this this came out after Dawn of War, I presume. Wait, uh, what? 2012 THQ declared bankruptcy. Let's see, what are the games then? Title, Homeworld in 99. Impos impo okay, so this did, this did first licensed. Okay, Impossible Creatures, original release date, 2003. To research, select the structure that you All wish right. to research from. Which in this case is the lab. The uh, same year, Homeworld 2, and then Warhammer uh, 40k Dawn of War a year later. So, yeah, this predates Dawn of War by one year. Hello? Okay, uh, I'm surprised. Uh, Maybe I'm mixing this up with another game. Oh, wait, there has been all games that made a you Zoom can see game. The right hand side of the taskbar, all of animals. the different research options available at this structure. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. The four buttons displayed indicate higher creature research levels. The buttons that are grayed out cannot be researched yet, but will be available later once you have advanced to a higher level. Research level Basically, two creatures now by upgrading. clicking on the first button in the list. Many research options have prerequisites. In order to see what you need to build before you can begin researching an item that is unavailable, hold your mouse cursor over the button for a second or two. Help. Okay. Let's... Okay, we can't see it at the moment now. Or check anywhere else. Oh. Geoturban upgrades. Oh. Yeah, I think I realized. I think I was thinking of the Tycoon game where you also could now do let's hybrid go animals. Find some creatures. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure those are written in the 90s. Yeah, maybe those are thinking of. Yes, this one at least did something more interesting besides just a zoo. I don't think in the single player game, would be you'll much be able to create genetic game. blueprints by entering the army builder. Yeah. To enter the army builder, click on the army management button located in the top right hand side of the taskbar. Click on it now and follow That's the instructions one. to create a few genetic blueprints for your army. Creating genetic blueprints and then using them for battle is what Impossible Creatures is all about. The army builder and creature combiner is where you create these genetic blueprints and add them to your army. You were then able to build these creatures in the game from the creature chamber. This is the army builder. The army builder shows you all yes, in yes, order to create up. a genetic blueprint and add it to your... This is the creature combiner screen. This screen allows you to mix two stock animals together to create a genetic blueprint. Uh, this is blueprint. a pretty decent First tutorial, all, but it is Here is a list a of all the stock talky. animal types that you have available to you. In the single player game, you will have to collect the genetic samples from animals yourself. There are dozens of different animals to choose from, but for now, let's just work with a few to keep things simple. Select one of the animals mm. now by left-clicking on it once. If you wish to find out more details about what a certain number or icon represents... Okay, yeah. We'll just have to Great. combine a Good. baboon now pick with a cheetah. Animal. In the middle of the screen, you can now see the result of your selections, and quite a magnificent beast it is, too. <laughs> <laughs> On the left and right hand sides of the creature are a collection of buttons that represent the individual limbs of your combined creature. These buttons allow you to select which limbs you want to incorporate into your combination. In the bottom half of the screen are the various attributes of the combined creature. Changing which limbs are assigned to the creature will change the value of these attributes and abilities that the creature has. And yeah, that was something that uh, completely flew past... Yeah blew over my head when I originally cl played this game and I just mixed and matched them at random. <laughs> Once you have your creature combined to your design, you can take a picture of it. The picture that you take will then be used throughout the game as a representation of your creature. To take a picture of your creature... Once you We're have combined save. all of the limbs to your liking, you need to save the creature. To save the creature, press the save button. And uh, yeah, it also gives a randomized name here, the Babita. <laughs> Uh, okay, Excellent. You now have the beginnings of an army. You can also add genetic blueprints to your army by selecting them from the zoo. The zoo contains a copy of all the creatures you've created so far, but don't currently have in your army. So basically, you don't have to recreate each and every beast on each and every mission. Now you know how to build an army. Now you will be able to build these creatures from the creature chamber when you're in the world. 
So yeah, let's finally get to making our impossible creature and hopefully finish this tutorial soon. Unit creation and control. I guess the there's only one thing left then you after this. All of your creatures. You build to build a creature, first select the creature chamber. Now that you have the creature chamber selected, you will see a list of buttons representing all of To build a creature, click all creatures cost a certain amount of resources. Depend if you run out of resources, just tell your henchman to go and collect some more. Go ahead and build five creatures now by clicking on the creature icons five times. Okay, there we go. And it gets to work. And these are also like here. It, it doesn't just spawn them out of it. It actually places them around it. Like typically okay, in fun. RTS, it all, and it, all units get forced out of one point. Select the creatures that you've just built and detail. move them to the village. Now that you can see the enemy creatures, you can attack them. To attack enemy units, select. Go ahead and attack the enemies with your creatures the... now by selecting your creatures. Yeah, that's a, that's a crab with a snake creatures. head. Oh no, okay. that's a lobster. And that's his a wolf and bear, perhaps. Well done. Triggered abilities are special attacks that some of your creatures are capable of doing. This creature is part gorilla and part electric eel. The electric eel tail gives it a special triggered ability called electrical burst that creates a burst of electricity that damages everything surrounding it, including your own creatures. So we will now beware. make this creature use his triggered ability. Go ahead and select the creature now. Now click on the electrical burst button that's flashing, then target the ground in front of him by left clicking on it. It doesn't give Whenever it the AOE creature uses a triggered ability, he uses up some of his endurance. The blue bar below the creature represents its endurance. A creature's endurance will slowly regenerate with time. Only when the creature has enough. For now, I will set the creature's endurance to full, so you can use it again shortly. Now that you know how to use the triggered ability, use it to kill the enemy creatures over there. And there we go. Well done. This is just one of the triggered abilities. Some other abilities, such as Frenzy, are triggered by simply pressing on the button. I don't think... I don't know if this game will work well with stream, because when I originally played this game, I just got stuck somewhere. And yeah, putting it all together, this must be the last one. I've managed to find the location of the base that sent those animals to attack us earlier. I've also managed to come by some more genetic samples for you, so don't hesitate to go back into the army builder and combine a few to create some more genetic blueprints for your army. I must say, I like this voice actor. She, yeah. she does the nature uh, documentary voice pretty well. Yeah, I feel like this could be fun streaming. You can quit now, or you can continue on to test your strategic skills against the enemy. Okay, yeah, well... Story being good, at least. Oh, we got a lot of energy during all of that. But uh, yeah, we might put this on the uh, on the list. Maybe not for mainstream, but maybe side streams. Let's see, what else can we make here? Yeah, we, we sort of been missing a Saturday show now. Yeah. Uh, really? Let's see. We have baboons of high health. So do rams. So let let's see what happens if we combine a Ramoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, here it shows the types of... Uh, each body part can have a, an effect to it. Uh, attack bonus when three near of the same species. Herding. Defensive bonus when out of the same species. Countered by horns, range attack, porcupine quills especially. Is this... Is that what it, this animal specifically has or what our current beast has, and that is the alert for my headset getting low on power. I'm going to leave the freaking cable for that. That's not it. Uh, that's not it either. Where? Why did I put that thing? Hmm. Uh, maybe an issue. Okay, okay, I can see it. Those are its attacks you're given for the bot ships you're using at the moment. So I guess if you... Oh, oh, no, I see. These are the... If it's grayed out, then it doesn't have that ability. And it's just showing everything the beast can have. 
So let's see, gore, out, melee attacks out to do melee damage, bite. Oh god, that, that is better. Uh, at least <laughs> statistically. It also has horns now, and yeah, it has the full abilities now. So let's save that. And let's see if we can make an attacker. We probably should have built... Hmm. We probably should have combined something with high health, with high defense instead there, but... Let's see. The cheetahs are the fastest, so let's go with them. Uh, sight, size, melee damage. Okay. Cheetah and gorilla. Yeah, cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, that does that actually make Okay, that the gorilla head gives it more health. Also more cost. Uh, let's save that. And yeah, now we have a defensive and an attacker. Uh, Now let's see something get poor for. This is just for a bit of fun. Uh, okay. Giraffe, I overlooked that. High sight radius. Uh, yeah. Giraffe and cheetah would make for a good scout. Did you read that? Okay. Uh, what? Doing what will do? Max sight range and max speed is what we're looking for. So, yep. Yeah. Um, this is going to slow it down, and the tail doesn't do anything. And yeah, let, let's uh, stop screwing around in here and get to work. This. A bunch of babita, bachitas, and we can't make the others. Oh, requires research level three, and we can't research level three. So, ready, boss. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Good work, game. Uh, oh, this you, is just a tutorial. Yeah, maybe you didn't look properly to see what animals you can uh, customize and make. Maybe you took from two high levels. Yeah. No. Okay, their base is over there. And yeah, this is just a tutorial, so just using the base beast should work. Okay, if we press A and then left click, that should send them into auto attack mode. And these are cheetahs and chameleons. Okay. And yeah, just they're just going to attack everything they come across. You two deal with that, or you three. I really hope someone makes a game inspired by this game. Yeah, it, 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 is, it is a good idea. Yeah, and oh. I think I've seen some games that have been something similar, but not all the way, I think. One of you go harass that henchman. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I see all games that know something similar but not like this. It is a shame. Yeah, this game is fun enough, I'd say personally, to deserve uh, a remake or remaster, or maybe yep. just a uh, plain up sequel. Oh yeah. Otherwise, at least uh, someone make a spiritual successful uh, successor. I mean, to it. Yeah. But then bonus a lot of the ideas and we'll take them a few steps further. Uh, this guy's just absolutely lost it. You have to go. Uh, yeah, attack move is something that I definitely didn't know when I originally played this game, and because of that, I probably lost like far too many creatures uh, just heading somewhere and getting attacked along the way. Hmm, he's gonna win the me. <clears throat> If you're really able to skill with this, do you mean that you at least now have a chance to actually finish it? Yeah. Huh. Uh, 
Um, this is going to take a bit, so can we make a ranged attacker? Yes. Yeah, let's see here. Does it say what ranks are? Yeah, it does. Your rock, chimpanzee, cheetah are rank 2, I see. Okay, yeah, so it shows here. And yeah, I think that's yeah, that, that, is, that is rather bad that they give us level 3 creatures, but let's just make a quick little attacker here. Uh, rock artillery. And then just go for full speed. <laughs> Chimpita. But he's still a Chimpita. See? Uh, you guys go help out over there. Can we set a rally point for this thing? Yes, we can. You made a Chimpita, it just looks like a Chita. Oh, hey, great. Didn't I put in the. Oh, I think I actually. Yeah, I. Oh. I removed the chimp's arms. So it no <laughs> longer has that range attack that I was actually wanting. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. they're almost done with this thing, anyways. Someone is repairing it. Yeah, that, that was dumb of me. You guys, grab that. I'm not sure if time progresses if we're in here or not. Uh, let's give this another shot. Rock artillery, save, save, back. That one does have. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the tutorial for Impossible Creatures. You now know all that you need to begin your adventure. Farewell, my friend. Okay, let's not play again. Instead, no. It is only the first step that is difficult. Marie da Vinci, something. chance dated June 8th 1937 for years I thought my father was dead dr. Eric Chanikoff the infamous scientist who disappeared almost 30 years ago after being exiled from the scientific community all I knew of him is what a handful of old newspaper clippings told me and that's never been enough until today when I received a letter that turned my world upside down My son, at last I found you. I've been on these, on these islands for years, working in exile, to protect both you and myself. But I'm growing old. I'm sure I have many years left, but I don't want to take any chances. I want to look on the face of my son before it's too late. Upton Julius, the man who saved my life, and has been my confidant all these years, found you at my request. I want you to know the truth. Your father, Dr. Eric Chenikov. to a small and frigid little rock in the southern region of the Isla Variadas island chain, a stretch of virtually unknown islands nearly a thousand miles long, lost in the vastness of the South Pacific, and owned by the wealthy industrialist Upton Julius.
The building had been deserted. There were no signs of my father. Rather beautiful, aren't they? They're products of the Sigma technology, the perfect blending of two separate animals. Far superior to anything you'd find in nature. Interesting, uh, pets. Uh, look, I'm obviously in the wrong place. I'm looking for a man. Yes, you're here to find Dr. Chanikov, your long-lost father. What's going on here? Who are you? Upton Julius at your service. Upton Julius? Aren't you a friend of my father? Where is he? You should be more concerned about yourself, Mr. J. Well, I've got no quarrel with you, so you can call off your crossbreeds. Crossbreeds? So narrow-minded. The Sigma technology does far more than crossbreed. It combines fears, Mr. Chance. Compounds terrors. A fact you'll understand soon enough. Collect him! He must be alive, but he needn't be intact. Easy. <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> but thanks. I'm Dr. Lucy Willing, a friend and colleague of your father. You know my father? Where is he? Yes, I... What was that? Damn it. The fans have overheated. We must have blown a rotor. What can I do? Just hold on. Was that a typical landing? Don't start with me, Mr. Chance. Oh, my lab! It's going to take forever to get all this damage repaired. I'm sorry to be so much trouble, but I need to know what's going on here. I can explain everything, but first I need your help if we're going to survive. You saved my skin. I'll be happy to help any way I can. I'll need some time to repair the lab so we can get off this island. But Upton's goons will be looking for us. There's a village not too far from here. They've no love for Julius and his men, and may offer to help us. 
Also, check the immediate area for animals and use your dart rifle to collect a genetic sample from them. We can use those samples to put together some creatures to defend ourselves. Grab the dart gun and radio, and let's get to work. New objective, boss. We have to build creatures? You mean like those monsters that attacked me? Combined creatures are a scientific marvel. Hardly monsters. What? Big claws, poison tail, giant pincers? I don't have a dictionary handy, but monsters seems appropriate. I'm on it. I had my mic muted there because of the cinematics. But uh, yeah, so it was about uh, two or three decades after when this game was set. Yep, and say, Objective I'm done. Great work, cinematic. We got Animals show up in the mini-map as gray dots, so you can see where they are. Right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah. Wrong. It's clear where they got some of their Objective experience done. for Warhammer, you know, Dawn of War from. Let's go. Yeah, they, they really put a lot of effort into the, the game. Sounds like a plan. Actually, Let's go. Most games from this era, no to do problem. Ace animations usually felt awkward, or they took the most minimalistic effort watch. ever. Let's go. Yeah. But these ones right. are. Let's go. Good. Maybe not anime game good, but yeah, it sounds like a effort. plan. The textures and models are a bit outdated. But there's a coal uh, pile nearby that we can collect from. To gather, just select me and right-click on the coal pile. Or you can issue the same order from the taskbar. What would you have me do? I'll get on that dial. And yeah, Lucy Willing. I, I actually Ready remembered her first action. name. I'm on it. <laughs> Objective done. Great work, boys. Right. Uh, I, I wasn't really going to say anything more no than that, but problem. yeah, I, the fact that I remembered her first I'm name just speaks how much to this no game. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Hello. What do you want? You speak English. Great. Uh, me, friend. Me need help. You don't say. Our magical uh, flying machine has uh, broken. You mean that hover train your lady friend has been hiding here for the last week? We've been meaning to talk to you about that. Ever since she's shown up, it's caused us nothing but grief. Two men are looking for her. They're sending crazy beasts. They smash our igloos and eat our sled dogs. We had to build a fire in the pass just to keep the animals back and stay alive. But we're running out of wood. There's a big beast up near our temple that's developed a real taste for sled dogs. And we're all at the sled dogs. Say. Why don't you help us out and get out of here? Believe me, we're trying. Listen, you mentioned two men looking for the lady I'm with. If I help you fight off those animals, will you tell me what you know about them? I guess so. But hurry, we don't have much time. Thank you. I think we actually get a if you time ever limit want here. To what to do next? Just click on the yeah. objectives button. Right. No, okay, so oh, the natives that you said you've been holding out here for a while, and that men are the looking the for you. Not what have I gotten myself that into? Yard. Julius showed up about a week ago and took your father. I was out on a survey mission and avoided capture. Julius has been looking for me ever since. Why? I honestly don't know. Just that all this started shortly after your father sent a letter to you. That's how I knew you were coming. My hope was that you could help me find him. It means a great deal to me. To me too. I'll do what I can, but how can we fight off Upton's creatures? With creatures of our own. New objective, boss. Rex Chance at you. Okay. Have B Lucy build a creature champ. Yeah, Service. Lucy is basically playing as a, an upgraded henchman at the moment. So that let's just build that. Problem. And I think we'll be pretty set <laughs> with electricity at the very least here. Nice. Ready so, for what action. What DNA do we have at the moment? Uh, what? What DNA do we have at the moment? Combined uh, creatures like the ones Julius had are a product of the Sigma technology. Something Dr. Chanikov and I have been working on for several years. 
With this lab, we can use the samples of the animals you've collected to design combined creatures to defend our base. Press the army management button to go to the army builder screen and... Yeah, it wasn't available until now and we didn't get a save from what we had earlier. Not that it would have been much use to us. But let's see, we have mountain lions with high defense. So let's quit that. We want some tanks up front. And everything else seems to have the same amount of health. Yeah. So Don't forget to attempt to the rack. Yeah, they're, they're all one and two. They're, okay, the, no. The coyote is... Let's just put it like this. Okay, skunks and uh, coyotes are one. Hmm. Yeah, you need to make sure you know what creatures can we be at the moment. Yeah, so let's start with coyote and skunk then. Put the mountain lion in later. Let's see, higher cost, but more defense and more sight. And the coyote head, <laughs> which looks absolutely ridiculous like this. Uh, King Sun's defensive clouds. Let's see, what is that? Can detect camouflage and digging creatures. Okay. Alright. I guess. I guess a wolf's body and a skunk's tail is a good uh, mix. Oh, yeah, no, that oversizes those front paws right, so much. And yeah, it, for now I think this will be the best. And yes, go young. Uh, uh, go young. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I feel like we have a streaming game material with just the name, and the names alone. Yeah. Uh, let's keep it at that until we Designs get upgrades. And creatures. Great job. Now you can build creatures of that type anytime you want from the creature chamber. As long oh. as we have enough resources, that is. Excellent. I should send some creatures to defend the village. Those fires were getting pretty low. Maybe we need to design some tougher, meaner animals, Rex. If you click on the lab, there's some new research available that will enable us to build level two creatures. There we go with that. We got no objectives. Uh, Lucy, yes, uh, I'll get on that sorry, go, but please go get <laughs> to work at, at the coal again. Oh, no. The fires are dying out. Wait. He basically made sing. <laughs> and what the heck is that damn shovel? Ready thing? for action. Shovel? Level 2 research is complete. Objective done. Great work, boys. Okay, we lost one of our beasts. Uh, research complete. Objective complete. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, and I think we were just about to get this notification of our creatures being attacked there. Let's see. Mountain lion. Porcupine. Right. Claws. Bite. Tail strike. Quill attack. Or quill throw. Why is not in the head and not the body? Or quill burst on the a quill burst on the body, but why is that on the why is that there? Throw its quills to attack creatures from a safe distance, cause piercing damage. Okay, so it has both melee and range damage. Now let's see. If we put on the claws, we can up its melee. We do not want to put replace the head or the body. The leap attack I'm going to remove though. Because we don't we want these to stay at range more. And a mountain lupine. That actually makes more sense as a name. Yeah. It, also, it looks so Yeah. We're under yeah, attack. I would say that we can have, I would wanna say we could stream this on Saturday for I feel like we can have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, just just screwing around in the army builder and okay, only three of our Co Young survived. Yeah, and I feel like we could also Yeah, we could probably have our own fun with the names since we can name them whatever we want. Yeah. Which means we could make beanie. Uh, I'm not sure if there are rats in this game, but uh, if there are, we are so calling a creature. Uh, oh, the, the beanie. Are under attack. 
It looked like he's that damn chunky thing. I think that's... A l okay, that's part of a lemming, I think. The Krillers are under attack. And yeah, they're gone. Okay. Good tip for any of these uh, strategy games. Set your building thing as a, a team so you can easily... Oh, is that mountain lion going after the, the porcupine? That, that I've never seen before. Ready. Right, so you Sounds go, like uh, a plan. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> I Let's think go. it chased it off with his quills. No the looks of it. problem. <laughs> oh, I think I just had an idea. The critters are under attack. And that is. And uh, we could make a giant skunk based by basically getting all Next of the parts. Though at your service. Let's it's go. It's really only the. Uh, Sounds like a plan. The tail that has oh, a special more. effect with them. Yeah, but I think it's the head that shoots the spikes. So... Uh, oh, you mean a skunk porcupine? Yeah, will that basically turn it into a tank? Uh, I th yeah, these already have a effect like that, but yeah, let's see what happens if we skunk and porcupine. Let's see, defensive cloud, quill throw, quill burst, uh, tail strike, tail covered. Uh, the tail has a melee attack, okay. Uh, that gives it a bit more damage, but less defense. Uh, yeah, a, a, a skunu pine. <laughs> okay, let's throw a few of those in there. Just for fun. It, it has less defense. But it, it would probably make for a better overall attacker. Yeah, I think they will work together as a team quite, quite well. And let's see. Quill Burst. Massive Quill Discharge that damages all creatures within a radius. Okay, so that is like the, this, like the Electrical Discharge. Let's see. Ready. I'm not right. sure if Rex can really be too no useful problem. in combat since he only has like a dart gun. What's next? This coal pile has been depleted. Rex Chance at your service. What would you have me do? Right away. See? Yeah, we could probably not wait here too long for... We definitely How have a limited you? resource here. What would you have me do? How can I help you? Okay, Lucy's lines are a lot more limited. Uh, let's... Let's get at least one more Ko Young as an attacker. <laughs> and let's see. Sting Cloud. Uh, stunts enemy units makes all in, 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 in the cloud immune to rains and artillery attacks. Okay, so that is a, only a good one. You know, that has no negative effect for us, at least. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I really hope there are some indie developers that take a look at this game. And makes I get inspired by this. What's oh, next? Right. So much untapped potential Rex here. Chance at your service. I'm on it. Okay, we can select multiple teams by sh using shifts, so that is a bit of a bummer. We're only at the fifth of our population cap. And wait, are they are they slowing down? Okay, they they actually they actually slow down automatically to match pace with the slowest. The critters are under attack. That's actually a bit impressive. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of games even today that don't do that unless you use a specific button to. And the critters are under attack. A, a polar box. <laughs> oh. A polar bear and a, a box. Now that those creatures are dealt with, tell me what you know about those men. All right. They're on the next island over. The water between the two islands freezes most nights, which is when they send their creatures. So we can probably expect some company by morning. Lucy, can we get the repairs done by then? Yes, but we don't have enough fuel to get the lab off the ground. Fuel? There's plenty of fuel on the other island. Great. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye now. Anything to get rid of your troublesome people. 
<laughs> okay, uh, I remember things a lot worse than, than it seems. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I can't stand annoyance. From the Journal of Rex Chance, June 13th, 1937. It's only been a day since I've arrived on the island, but it feels like a week. I haven't slept at all, but somehow I'm not feeling tired. Lucy and I have been working around the clock trying to repair the hovercraft. This thing is practically held together with chewing gum and bailing wire, with each repair causing two more problems. But our biggest issue is fuel. There's a depot on the next island, but it's also a fairly obvious place for us to walk into an ambush. We're looking for a man and a woman traveling in a big flying train. A uh, flying train? You're kidding, right? Have you ever known me, Kid? Are you dead serious? Find them, or else. There's the fuel depot. It should be easy to get there. The ice has bridged the strait. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. What do you mean? Look, that's gonna mean trouble. Back to the lab. Pick up your feet! New objective, boss. I'll get on that directly. Ready. It's gonna be interesting. And do you remember the on the mic again? Yeah. <laughs> I it. I should. I should just. I should just add mute mic to Control C, which oh, I no, used. Oh no! Oh no! Heads up! Those beasts are coming. Yeah, I, I just the should add uh, mute mic to control C, which is the shortcut I used to uh, hide or show uh, the camera now. What's next? And the I don't think... under attack. No problem. Oh, that's stink clouds. The critters are under attack. Yeah, it was not used by us. Uh, you can you use that. The critters are under go. attack. That it. Okay, stuns enemy units. Okay. Oh crap! There. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Rex might want to get right. away from there. Yeah, do you need some new? Uh, the critters are under attack. Or do you need here? Yeah, we won't be able to find any new one on the island that we are now, but on the next island we should be able to. Under attack. Okay, kill that one first, it's wo more wounded. The Quillers are under attack! Bit of a rough start, like, these are some pretty strong thinking warlocks. A wolf and an ox? Okay, there we go. We've Good pushed job. them back. But that fuel isn't getting here by itself. Gee, why don't I just go over there and ask nice? Why don't you, Mr. Chance? Please, just call me Rex. Okay. And let's just go with our mountain blue pines because they they just have the overall better stats than this. Can you pine? Yeah, the Can you pine sure have. It also has the stink thing, but. Ready yeah, for the audition. The, the Ko Youngs have that as, as well. Uh, let's set Rex yeah. as number three for now. Send these guys out to scout. <laughs> I don't think there will be many more new Rex creatures on this side of the map. Let's go. 
Now I'll, I'll still move Rex along. I didn't see behind him. We didn't bring him over this way. The critters are under attack. Okay. Uh, Lucy's still doing all of the hard work, and the villagers just cowering. Set that to go there. <laughs> and you guys come along. Okay, time to raise a stink. I'd say he just has a, a skunk creature appears. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just just this game in HD. That would that would be really uh well, probably horrifying to what to actually see. And hello, whatever you there. A lemming. Okay, Ready Rex. for action. No yeah, problem. Yeah, it's really very mix of horrifying and uh, impressive if it got turns into HD. Yeah. Okay. Do you imagine this game had easy time doing this too? too that it had a bit more lower Ready. graphics. Sounds like a plan. So we are too HD nowadays with this. It right. Would be a struggle. Sounds like a plan. But it, there are other ways around it. Like you could go with a more cartoony feel or something. Objective done. Great work, yeah, boys. Yeah, we don't really have the time no to read problem. out those entire descriptions. I'm on it. But for people who want, they can pass. No problem. And also, <laughs> the the whole thing about uh, lemmings running off What's of next? Uh, ledges. Right. Yeah, that's a myth. And hoax. No problem. Yeah, they, basically the uh, the people who Ready. were filming that they right. basically chased the lemmings off of the ledge. I'm on it. Right. Because well, they were freaking boring. Let's go. Yeah, is there any Arrow. animal hidden around here? Sounds like a plan. Steel, you're still in the room. She's a crime. Right. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Sorry, I'm on it. Let's get it. down to the ledges. On it. And there's no new beasts the here. Are under attack. Oh, oh right. crap, they killed off the lupines. Or the okay. Let's see, what can the leveling lemming help us here? It, what benefit does it have for us? Yeah, first, let's send off a bit more of these. I think we're going to run out of coal real quick. Only 400 left. Let's New beast. The lemming is num level one. Okay. Uh, decent defense, but the coyote has it beat. And not so much else, it seems. So it, it can dig. The creature can burrow. When burrowed, the creature is undetectable to most units and take less damage from attacks, but does not regenerate endurance and cannot attack or use special abilities. Flying units and units in the water cannot use this ability. Because, yeah, of course, there's going to be water and the. Uh, yeah, air beasts as well. Let's see, what would that be good on actually? We we don't we don't have a mountain lion beast, I think. So let's go make I think we use the mountain lion for the poker pine. Uh yeah, mount mountain lupine. Let's see. Lemain lion <laughs> Lemani <laughs> Wait, the, the lemming has a stronger bite than the mountain lion? Okay. And the tail just does nothing, so let's just give it a tiny little thing. <laughs> Hopefully this makes it strong and somewhat cost-effective, I hope. It, ha it has the most health. Okay, but we should probably start pushing in here because, of course, our enemy has unlimited resources. Unfairly enough. Because they, well, they typically always do in games like this. Let's see. Rex Chance at your service. The critters are under attack. Uh, one of you stun them. Uh, the critters are there. under attack. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, the henchman there is just cowering. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. The creatures are great. Ready okay, so for there go. We're, no we're only problem. after the fuel at the moment. So we need to bring Rex here, I'm guessing. Let's see. Collect the wolf. Get Rex to the fuel depot. Let's What's let's next? not get him to the fuel depot yet. Then. All right. No problem. And wait. Let's go. Have, oh wait, we have, we have coyote, and not wolf. Yeah. I think I've seen a wolf around. So. I yeah. I thought it was a coyote over here, Sounds but like I'm guessing plan. it was a wolf. Yeah, let's right. grab the wolf. Sounds and like see a plan. We can make something good from that. <laughs> In the meantime, put these over there. Rex Chance at your service. No uh, there it is. problem. And what's next to the skunk? Objective yeah, that's done. The, Great work. Yeah, it's a skunk us. again. I Ready thought it was a lemon. Action. Let's go. Okay, oh, Rex. Is right. Wolf now. It's Wolf is level one. Okay. It has a bite. It has. Uh, High Endurance, Pack Hunter, and Keen Sense. Okay. Uh, regenerate Endurance faster for special abilities, Pack Hunter. Okay. Okay, that mixed with Skunk or Coyote would make it quite handy since, you know, Pack makes it stronger with other ones of its kind. Yeah, I, I think the Mountain Lion would actually... is The Mountain Lion is our strongest beast at the moment, I'd say. Uh, it doesn't have... Like it has a flying attack. It has the leap attack here. Hmm. Yeah, this high endurance wouldn't really work without a special ability, though. But putting that off just gets, gets really high defense. Actually, just having it as a, as a mountain lion just gives it stronger. It, its bite is weaker than a wolf. It seems. Yeah, yeah, and it even though even though we weren't using any parts of it, it would still get the pack hunter. Lovely enough. A Wolian lion. <laughs> okay, that's probably going to be our front fighter for now. It if we had resources. Uh, also, I'm. I can I just say that I really like this thing. It's just completely absurd, but also this just cool. This coal pile has been depleted. Yeah, what I agree. What would you have me do? I surrender. Please, don't let your creatures eat me. Give us some of your fuel and I won't let them hurt you. Sure, sure. I'll even carry it for you. But you and your creatures will have to protect me. I don't like being eaten. <laughs> Either he's actually pretty short, or Rex is just like two meters long, or something. Yes. Yeah, he is quite um, broad. We got no objectives. Rex Chance at your service. Okay, set these two as three at the no moment. No problem. And send Let's you go. back directly. There is more over here, but that's for the next mission. And yeah, Lucy has nothing to do because she dug up all the coal already. Oh. Focus down the polar thing. Uh, quick stink. I said quick stink, or did it? Did it die? The critters are under attack. Don't forget the porcupines can shoot spikes at the point blank. Yeah, but they're a bit too stuck up in combat now. The critters are under attack. There we go. That's better. And the Linian lion has. Tank. Just tank. The critters are under attack. Yeah, that works. And that that sound is going to get annoying in time. Objective done. Great work, boys. I got scares. Oh, do you ever? Charming. This will keep us flying for a while. Uh, I done good then. Yeah. Look, I've got a proposition for you. But jeez, I'm flattered, Mr. Chance, but uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I ain't into, you know... Uh, look, friend, it's nothing like that. You seem like a competent guy. 
How would you like to work for us? I don't like Julius one bit, but uh, if I work for you, he'll send Whitey after me. What's a Whitey? He's referring to Whitey Hooten, Julius's head thug who keeps all the men in line. Most of them hate Julius, but do what he says because they're afraid of the consequences. Listen, buddy. If you help us out, I promise I'll protect you. Uh, well, uh, they'd uh, probably kill me for failing to capture you anyway, so, uh, okay, I'll help you. There's a building over at the base that you might want to look at. It makes the beasts extra tough, and we were sending them over to torment them villages real bad. I feel awful about it, too, but, uh, I'm a changed man. At least Hold we can on. move this thing. Set down somewhere closer to the enemy base. Lucy, we're not quite done here yet. Let's locate this structure and clear those islands once and for all. Okay, you want to finish this next mission or shall we call it here? Uh, what was the next game? Jade Empire. I don't think it's a good idea to stick around, Rex. Objection noted. But I don't want Whitey's goons attacking the village the moment we leave. And I'm gonna need you to look at this structure. The henchmen can gather the coal, and we'll go spoil Whitey's fun. I should have stayed in school. I'm tired of chipping coal. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, pal. Uh, hey, you, you can recruit more from the lab, but uh, we don't work for free. It's gonna cost you. No objective, boss. I feel like Jade and Pirate deserves a bit more than yourself yeah, of an boss. hour. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. We got new objectives. Hello? Oh, Jade Empire is a structure game, correct? Uh, no, Ready it's an RPG. Action. Sounds like a plan. Oh. But, uh, no. Oh, wait. Okay, the, these guys got moved over. Wait. Weren't they? They were over here last time. Okay. They got preserved, at least. Hey. Uh, yeah, I think we uh, I think we can call it here to at least give Jade Empire some time. Because while well, I advertised it. Oh, no. Well, not Jade Empire, Ironcast. Uh, I've over I installed Jade Empire as a possible backup. Oh. My bad on that, people. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is a fun game. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but since yeah. I'm not an absolute stupid kid anymore, we should probably be able to get through the end of this. Yeah, and if as long as you remember the missions and with the extra pair of eyes, which is me, might work for some days or some Saturdays. I mean, okay, it shouldn't be. I'm, I'm not going to say it should be a short game. It will still probably take quite a bit, but uh, yeah, let let's move to Iron Cast. Uh, Jade Empire will be next week, the first then, unless this yeah. absolutely sucks. Iron game capture, cast. iron cast, and string here. It's so much easier to just screen share that to a server voice chat instead of having to wrangle it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, let's so, go yeah. for the tutorial because I have played this once before. Uh, Total Biscuit actually re recommended this game, I think, but I. I personally uh, didn't enjoy it too much, I think. New game. The year is 1886 and Queen Victoria reigns over her British Empire. A great war has been raging for over a decade between the British and their neighbors, the French. Uh, the war began after the French had developed a powerful new energy source known as Voltite, but declined to share the discovery with the English. France declared war on Britain in 1887. 1875, when the English government refused to return Voltaite samples that they had stolen the previous year. Voltaite was quite simply the most valuable material in the world and the British Empire were unwilling to let go, no matter the cost in human life. Over the following five years, several attempts were made to invade by both nations, with neither being able to get a, gain a foothold lasting more than a few days. The difficulty lay in the process of trying to land ground forces. It was a perilous task as having tank steam tanks were quickly targeted and destroyed by artillery before they could move to a safer location. The Anglo-French war seemed to be at a bitter state of it. 
In 1882, designs of a, for a new kind of ground unit became reality. Instead of using tracks and wheels to move these new vehicles would walk, to move these new vehicles would walk. They would be large enough to carry multiple weapon systems found on even the largest tanks, and, but could move faster and for longer than the smallest scout vehicles. The 20 foot tall brass and iron walkers could also stride over regular defenses and quickly move into populated areas, discouraging voltite artillery to retaliation. These mechanized war machines would come to be known as iron cast, named after the manufacturing process used to construct them. Although designed for military purposes, the British Army did not own the patents or designs for the iron cast. The war machines were instead built by a group of wealthy private businessmen and women, collectively known as the Consortium of Merit. Secret the duration and bitterness of the Anglo-French War, the Consortium developed advanced models of iron cast in order to break the stalemate and declare a victor once and for all. Smartly dressed and devoid of the usual rough qualities found in British in fighting troops, uh, the iron cast commanders were a whole new breed of tactical genius, eloquently directing their crew in battle from the comfort of their elaborately decor and decorated cockpits. The Consortium of Merit became the bulwark of England's defense and the spearhead of their eventual campaigns into France. So yeah, basically these are uh, yeah steampunk mechs. <laughs> It is now 12th October 1886, the French have launched an assault on England on a scale never seen before. Close to 100 airships have descended on the south of England, dropping voltite bombs on key military and consortium positions. The British Army is, in, is the British Army are in disarray, most of the Ironcast commanders have been slain in the attack, and a massive fleet of French battleships has been sighted in the English Channel. Dozens of enemy Ironcast have been dropped inland as a disruptive spearhead force, destroying consortium-owned weapon caches and resource pipelines. It's a dire day for the British Empire. We join our hero, Eris Powell, as she and her Ironcast recover from a volatile vault bomb blast in central London. And here we go. Wireless telegraph in effect. Come in, come come in, Commander Powell. Are you alright? I I hear you. Who is this? Lord Butler. Who is this? Do you not remember? This is Lord Butler, your commanding officer and head of the Consortium of Merit. Come now, we've known each other for nearly a decade, Ares. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I fear I may have taken quite a knock to the head. I remember very little. What has happened? Just a friend, Ares. They struck several key consortium and military locations at the same time. We estimate as much as 80% of our iron cast commanders have been killed. We're caught in the bomb blast, but thankfully have survived. We need to get you moving. There are enemies inbound to your location as we speak. Yes, of course. But how exactly? First, have a look at your cockpit. And, uh, yeah, it is... This is part of probably why I didn't like this game too much because it it's one of these lineup games. <laughs> Let us start by checking your system status. Hmm, it appears that only one system is undamaged and active, your weapons. I can use them to clear the debris and get you out to the battlefield. First match powerful ammo nodes from the grid to supply weapons with ammunition. At least three ammo nodes of the same color by left clicking on one bloody line. So that. Yeah, this this stuff you can find in like half of the mobile games on the market these days. Excellent. Notice that the purple ammo bar has been filled. These resources can now be spent in order to fire web. Go by clicking the fire button now. Let's clear that debris. Nearly there, but you'll need more ammo. Matching ammo nodes and finding a weapon to destroy the debris completely. Right, Commander, let's get those other systems active. Second weapon system seems to be in agreeable condition. In an agreeable condition. Let's check your drives and shield systems. Those are your defenses and drive systems over here. They're used defensively in battle, providing much-needed protection for your iron cast. 
It seems that they've been completely wrecked from the bomb blast. Fortunately, systems can be repaired. That's green repair notes to fill the repair bar. Sleep. That is a much longer chain. Good. Now click the repair button next to each system to consume five repair and get the system back online. Now repair the drive. Yep. Both drives and defenses seem to be operational, but we should test them out. Time is a fact, Commander. And he is used to power your defenses and drives, much like ammo is used to fire with. It's orange to fill the bar. Ooh, this is a very long one. Back one. Now we have enough energy to power your defenses. Click the raise. And there we go. Now we have a shield. Up left. You can see your current shield strength. Your shields will now absorb 10 damage from each shot of any incoming enemy attack. So basically, that's our armor. That's right. It's starting to get back to me now. Good, Commander. Let's get you moving. Click walk to activate your drives. And yeah, now that thing is actually in motion. Okay. I am impressed by the art style. Yeah. But not for the uh, medium. The gameplay more than. If your iron cast is yeah. moving, it is harder to hit. The faster you move, the fewer enemy shots will find a mark. We now have 5% evasion. Shields and, enemy, in, shields and drives lose energy every turn. Isn't that correct? Indeed it is, Commander. Keep them top off with energy to ensure your iron cast is always protected. As you are mobile, you should vacate the area. We can see a number of enemy iron casts in the area, Commander. Look, Butler, it is getting warm in here. Now that my systems are active, I believe my Voltite engines are beginning to overheat. Uh, yes, you must be ruling, running low on coolant. Every time you activate a system, you also consume coolant in order to prevent overheating. Gain more coolant, blah blah blah, same as before. Uh, yeah, we can fill these. We can. <clears throat> we can. Uh, yeah. We can line up more stuff than we can actually fill these things in, but we can experience with them, which I believe is where the roguelite part of this game comes in. Good work, okay. Commander. Ensure that you keep an eye on your coolant reserves during battle. If coolant reserves are allowed to run empty, then activating a system will overheat your iron cast, causing damage to all systems and the hull. So avoid at all costs. I like the game's concept and all that. Yes. Yeah, how about this uh, Candy Crush thing as the main gameplay of this game? Things are a bit wasted. Yeah, uh, personally I would have liked this a lot more if it was like Mech Warrior. Yeah, well, at least something not Candy Crush at all. Yeah, is this actually a mobile? Is this on mobile as well? I'm not sure, but uh, I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, I'd be surprised if this was not and only on PC for... Uh. Okay. Come in, Lord Butler. I have spotted what appears to be a French iron cast. Shall I engage? I don't think you have any choice, Commander. Good luck. Combat um, with enemies is a turn-based. You take it in turns to match nodes, raise defenses, and launch attacks with your weapons. So yeah, we have three actions. Or, no, we can have... Okay, we can make three matches each turn. And then we can use whatever we have to uh, yeah, use our weapons, up our defenses. Destroy the enemy iron cast by reducing its health to zero. You can see the enemy health at the top right of the screen. When you're ready to end your turn, click the done button in the lower right corner of the screen. Call speed commander, report back once you've destroyed the enemy. Or not. Let's start with a bit of energy. And now we can pull a really big repair one. Go back. Okay, let's see. Hmm. You're good on those. We are low on ammo though. So let's see. 
we go. More than we could use, but we still got experience from that. Now let's let's raise our defenses. And let's see. Health points 150, damage per shot 75 to 80. Number of shots 5, number of shots 1. That's, and it, it gives an average damage, which is not useful. Okay, do that again. And we don't have enough to attack again, which would have destroyed this thing entirely. Uh, let's raise our defenses more and start walking faster. Okay. Oh, completely negated all of that damage. Okay, we just need some ammo. And we might as well grab that experience. And end this. The butler, I have done my opponent. Excellent work. It's for two reasons that he was alone. Wait, I see another iron cast closing in on my position. Select, should I engage? It's up to you, Ares. Or Ares. If you wish to evade your enemy and head back to base, then I would not think badly of you. We need to regroup and recover our strengths. However, should you wish to hone your advanced abilities in battle, feel free to engage. Uh, stay and continue the tutorial. Okay, let's see that then. Let's try our luck, Lord Butler. I shall fight on. Very well, let us engage this new enemy. This one appears to have a shield system equipped and active. Weaker shots from rapid fire weapons such as your light cannon are highly ineffective against shielded enemies. Often they'll fail to cause any damage at all. Like was done well was not done to us earlier. However, weapons that fire a single high damage shot like your enemy lands will have a much better chance of penetrating an enemy shield. It would be prudent to destroy the enemy shield system quickly. We can do this by focusing our attack on the system. Which is why all of these things have health as well. We can specifically target things. From here you can see your enemy systems and their individual health status. Their drives, their defenses, their weapons. If you left click a system it will uh, be selected as the target for your weapons. All following shots will strike this system until you select a new one. Neutralize this new enemy and report back to me once you uh, they have been destroyed. Okay, and now the defenses are targeted. And let's see, we can use a bit of ammo. And oh, uh, yeah, that was a that was a bad idea. <laughs> Who has rushed? That still damaged their shield quite a bit. Now our energy lands. And down it is. It still also damages their health. So yeah, we can do this. We can <clears throat> we can use this to basically dismantle an enemy and chip them down as well. Yeah, let's see, do it. Can I unselect that to specifically go for health? Let's see, 15. Let's target their main weapon. And raise our shields even further. Now we have 30 damage negation, so they, they just can't touch us at all. Earlier. And they are they actually even more tankier than us. Than these balloons. Wait, they still got... Oh yeah, 30 to 35. And yeah, our defense is lowered because their turn ended. So we'll need to up that again. Uh, walking is... Yeah, just 5% just chance to dodge is uh, rather low, I'd say, so shields have the preference. Let's get some ammo. Lord Butler, a new type of node has appeared on the grid. Yes, those are scrap nodes. Match three or more to earn bonus scrap to spend in the hangar bay, which is our currency. I'm sure the foreman of the hangar will be able to explain scrap to you in more detail later. 
But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Continue your engagement with the enemy. Let's see. We don't really need to repair things. But we do have a big ass line of it. And we're low on coolant. Not a new node. This one is the overdrive node, correct? Grad commander overdrive no overdrive nodes can be matched with two or more of any other color node to collect it. So basically, these are these are Joker nodes. We can use them to well extend anything. All systems have a nat small natural chance of getting an overdrive boost, but once you've collected an overdrive node, the next system you activate is guaranteed to get it. Shields this means increased protection for drives and increased invasion. Protector weapons, more shots, and finally for energy weapons, more damage. And store up to three overdrive charges. You can see your current amount by the lights on the left of this grid. Continue your assault. Okay, let's see. Let's first just. Let's see here. Defenses are back up, so let's take those down again. Good option. That can penetrate our defenses, so let's take out. Oh, we missed. Okay. And uh, we don't have the ammo for another attack, so let's start walking. Uh, we don't have enough energy to move even faster, but at least we have some evasion now. <laughs> Repair. It'd be a... Let me do this. Wait. Wait, wasn't it supposed to be able to mix things? Or did I misread? I probably misread, but we need ammo anyways. Nope. I'll just cut that one short. And what is that? And this is the last node type, the link node. Crack. Okay, these are the ones that allow that. Use them to make longer chains of two different node colors and gain multiple types of resources in a single match. It appears you are recovering quickly. This is all coming back to me now. I'll dispatch this enemy and report back when I'm finished. Okay. So I guess that using those along with scrap down and cooling would be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's keep those shields down. Okay, that was a 5% chance to miss twice, come on. Okay, raise our shields and start walking. I'm walking here. <laughs> and he isn't, or now he is again. Okay. Ammo and coolant. A lot more coolant. Okay. Put those shields back up. And they haven't raised their shields again, so we can take out. We can deal more damage. And next turn we can. We can. Oh. Yep, I, we get to kill here. Well done. I think that's the last of them. I'm in bad shape, Lord Butler. I think I'll need to return to the hangar bay nearby for repairs. Of course, good work, Commander. Can you remember where it is? Yes, I believe so. I feel I've recovered from a memory lapse. Many apologies. Not at all, Commander. It can happen to the best of us. I'll contact you soon with fresh orders. We have an invasion to repel. And I've received word of a second bombing bomb. En route to my current positions, I may have yet to relocate to a safer location. There's a church nearby, cone named the Spire. I'll move there and contact you when... When what, Lord Butler? Lord Butler, come in. Lord Butler, what has happened? Still, uh, I am in no shape to continue this fight. I must return to the hangar and await further orders. I hope he's in good health. 
From the sounds of it, Lord Butler got served. Welcome back, Commander. It's good to see you as you drive the bombing attack. Many of your colleagues at the consortium were not so lucky. It'll take more than the comprehensive carpet bombing of London to kill me, Foreman. <laughs> I was told I'd need to make repairs to my iron cast here. That's right, we've already repaired the damage sustained from the attack, but in future you'll need to action the repairs yourself. It can be done by clicking the repair button on the left. Don't forget to repair after each battle or you'll head into a fight in a weakened state. If you kill any enemies, you'll retrieve designs for some of their weapons and defensive systems at Blueprints. And that is how we'll be upgrading things. Blueprints can be built into functional upgrades for your iron cast in the workshop, accessed by clicking the workshop button here. And we have no blueprints at the moment, but we do have access to just general upgrades of uh, armor, or its health, ammo, and how much each of these tanks can uh, take. But we have nothing at the moment to do there. I see, and how do I how do we afford such repairs and upgrades? Surely they are not free. Correct, you'll be bring you'll need to bring us scrap in order to repair your iron cast or build a new system for you. Your total scrap is displayed at the top and is obtained by completing mission kill missions, killing enemies and matching yellow scrap nodes during battle. If you want to equip some of these new weapons or shields, I click where again. If you click any of your system systems displayed on the right, and there you can swap out your old systems for new ones. If you actually have a new system to equip, you do so by dragging the icon from the menu up to the applicable system, system slot. That's all there is to it, we'll obviously do all the hard work for you. <laughs> well, after all, playing this in a war, Foreman. Indeed, finally you gain experience points for destroying enemies, completing missions and matching nodes. The XP you gain will be added to this bar located above. Each time that bar fills completely, you level up. Leveling up adds more health to your iron cast and allows you to choose new passive augmentations or ability for your iron cast. You select a reward by clicking this purple gem once you've leveled up. The passive augmentations are displayed on the bottom left of the screen. The current one is Lady of Power, signature augmentation which comes from our pilot, well, Lady Eris. Matching six or more energy nodes reduces the energy cost of activating the next shield or drive system by one to a minimum of one. The heat cost remains unchanged. In addition, the damage of all energy-based weapon is boosted by 10%. So she is just she's just good with energy weapons. Okay. System augmentations are displayed next to each system, which are passive that we can install on each of these. And finally, your abilities are displayed and changed down on the bottom right. Currently, we are in the Dun Raven, which has rocket pods. It fires a spread of six small missiles, each striking a random enemy system for 10% of the system maximum health as damage. Okay. New augmentation uh, and abilities can be equipped by clicking on the empty slots. And don't forget, you can quit the game in the hangar bay at any time and your progress will be saved. But beware, Commander, if you quit the game during a mission, the campaign progress will be lost. Excellent, I believe that's enough learning for one day, don't you think, Corman? We need to get back into the fight. Of course, Commander, select the mission, uh, click the uh, select mission button to progress with the campaign and take the fight again. Good luck, the Kami. For your assistant, Foreman. Um, yeah, we are at two hours, but let's at least do one actual mission here. Okay. And yeah, this is also where some of the roguelite stuff comes in. <clears throat> the roguelite elements come into, because we have this over here. The Great Battle of Windness. Sure. Uh, to take Commander Rene, Durant and his gargantuan class Arncast are mere miles away from the city. Our forces are, have already moved to intercept, but initial reports indicate that our ground troops are doing little to slow the enemy's advance. In short, it's a bloodbath, Commander. You must take to your Arncast and defend the capital for Queen and Country. That is the boss. Oh dear. Um, yeah, you can see that. That's some big. There's some big rewards for that. But, of course, it's also going to be very hard to beat at the very start. Probably impossible, even. 
So we have to choose from other missions around the place. Let's see. Difficulty medium. It's a battle. That's a battle. Also medium. Also medium. Let's see. War assets. War has reduced... Re oh, reduce the difficulty of boss encounters. Earn these from successful missions. Okay, so we'll, we'll want up as much of that as we can get. And at the moment, it looks like this... This one looks to be the best paying at the moment. A desperate defense. Several hundred civilians are seeking refuge at a warehouse near this location. We spotted an enemy iron cast advancing on this position. You must engage and destroy it before it or its allies can reach the warehouse. If you fail to destroy the enemy before the tournament is up, the French forces will have been allowed to maneuver into position and will be too strong to defend against. The location will be lost. Six turn limits. Okay. We will have failed your mission, Commander. So that is a trouble. But all of these have a six turn limit. Some of, the, some of the global unlocks, which is probably like, this is the uh, overall game progression. Ah, the Spire. Radiance Commander, this is Lady Emmeline Emma H. Blackwell, your new commanding officer. Understood, Lady Blackwell. And Blackwell, I must ask, where is Lord Butler? Fortunate as it is, uh, it is my charge to inform you that your previous general, Lord Butler, was slain in the blast. I am his replacement. It's unfortunate to say the least. He was quite a man. This is a sad day indeed, but our job is always, as always, is to protect the citizens of the British Empire. Move with purpose, Commander. We must destroy the enemy iron cast before it reaches the warehouse full of civilians. Failing in this task is unthinkable. Of course, lady, moving to great presently. Okay, and it's the same launch box design. Launch box. Let's see, we'll need plenty of energy and ammo for this. Okay, let's see. Both of those are full. We have no... All of our systems are at the max at the moment. Okay, we'll so... Your energy. Yeah, let, let's just at least get these to clear them out. I have a linky. Use that immediately. And that has dealt a good amount of damage already. Okay, defense per... It's, it's nice that you can see the full details of all of their stuff. Okay, 8, 16, 24% evasion. That is going to be nasty if they manage to get it up. But, uh, oh, okay, that, that is going to be dangerous with how many shots that fires. So we want our defenses up now. Weapons are charging up, they cannot be fired on the first turn of a battle. Okay. Um, yeah, it is only 5%, but let's still just start moving. Okay, here we go. Um, we need energy. I'm going to leave those scrap notes there just for now. I am using these two. I'm hoping more will fall in here. Okay, they didn't raise the defenses. Oh, but, oh they, they upped their evasion to the max. Okay, let's, let's hope some of these hit. Okay, all but one missed. We want those drives down as fast as we can. There we go. And actually... There. Done. Well done. Of course, enemies are going to be a lot tougher as you, forgo as you progress in the campaign. Come in, Spire. This is Lady Powell. Receiving you well, Commander. Has the mission been a success? Indeed, Lady Blackwell. The enemy has been destroyed. A small victory, at least, on this terrible day. Good work, Commander. Let us hope that it, uh, 
Let us hope that is the first of many victories to come in the near future. Return to the hangar bay and be sure to effect any repairs you may require before the next battle. Let's see. Scrap from matches, scrap from experience from matches, scrap from destroyed enemies, experience from destroyed enemies. And turns remaining asset bonus. So yeah, you'll you'll want to finish these matches as quick as you can to get just a little bit of extra. And that's a level up. And dense shields. I think those 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 look to be stronger than the ones that we have ourselves. So, armor assistance by tanks absorb percentage. Okay. Let's see. Dense shields by Royal Electric. It's always nice when it lets you compare things. Okay, that's fifty percent stronger. Or that's a third. Yeah, that is fifty percent stronger than what we have. It's a bit more costly in energy and we can't afford it at the moment but that would be a good upgrade to make for now though level up 25 extra health let's see running hot when your coolant reserves are low all shot uh, damage is boosted by 20 percent okay that can be useful on multi-shot weapons another general when your opponent's health falls below 15 percent all damage is boosted by 10 percent hmm. Useful to useful to uh, finish them off, but probably not too useful yet. All enemy damage is reduced by 15% for two turns. Let's go with that one. And yeah, we are past two hours now, but shall we do at least one more mission here? All right, one more. Let's you can be very eager for some reason. Let's see, medium. And six turns, medium, six turns. This one is hard. The factor. Let's stick to the mediums once for now. 130, 120, 565. Let's go for this one. The enemy attack at this location at two separate points, one by Ancast, the other by Steam Tank. You must decide which you will engage. Yeah, Steam Tanks are a different kind of enemy in this. And I don't exactly remember how they are, but I believe they are far more on armor. Hello again, Commander. As you will undoubtedly already know, a massive enemy force has made landfall near Dover. It seems that the attacks on our military location were a precursor of this, to this new offensive. We have estimated that it will take the French spearhead eight more days to reach the capital. If London falls, all is lost. I was made aware of these developments late last night. I hear that leading the convoy is an unknown model of gargantuan class Iron Cast. Is there any more information on the matter? You are correct, Commander. The French flagship Iron Cast is known as Terror de Rennes. It is piloted by, piloted by command, Commandant René Durant, one of their strongest iron cast pilots alive. Oh yes, Durant. I have heard many tales of him. His reputation is one of an exacting and ruthless commander. And our current operational strength, we will be no match for the French advance. We have worked, worked to unite our scattered forces before the Tour de Reynes arrives at the gates of London. You must defend your current location against one of two the two prongs of a light enemy strike force. One enemy is an iron cast to the east, the other is a heavier steam tank to the northwest. Which will you engage, Commander? Uh, let's go for the steam tank just to show those off. Okay, this is oh not as exactly as I remembered. I was thinking of something else then, like a, a, a tank train or something. Very well, Commander. Steam tanks have no energy shields, but much thicker armor than iron cannons. Use your more rapidly firing weapons upon the target. Of course. So yeah, these. Okay, they start with. Uh, the With uh, damage reduction instead of damage uh, negation. And let's start off with just firing these off again. Okay, nice amount. Let's see, 8, 16, 24. Uh, we'll, we'll want to take out that armor as soon as we can. So let's grab ourselves some ammo. Some energy. 
And no need for repairs really yet, but let's raise our shields because 20 to 30, 40 to 50. Yeah, we want these up. And let's clear that out so we can have more stuff bringing in. Okay, there we go. Even though it's only 5%, it's still a good idea to have some evasion. Yep, and sometimes those can be quite a lifesaver, those being a 5%. Yeah. Let's see, we got a link, but not much around it. We need energy. Let's not use the link just yet. We want those defenses gone. Let's see, uh, which would do more damage in this case? They, they did say to go for rapid fire, so let's see how that goes. If, if, if those would hit. <laughs> uh, raise the defenses more. Fire again. Okay. System is almost gone. We just need a bit more ammo. Oh, that... <laughs> I clicked the wrong run accidentally, but okay. That's still... That's still removed that. Now we'll go after the drives. And clear out a lot of coolant. Because we need it, but also because it clears out some space for us. Okay, that li did little. Let's spend some of our health to repair the drive. Let's... Oh, that is a lot of ammo for us. Power. Okay. Uh, the defense is up. Target their drive. And... Oh, they put... They, they repaired their armor somewhat. Take that out. There it goes. And just keep firing. And start walking again. And put that up to max. And there we go. Okay, quick bit of damage. Systems are still up. Now, like that. Okay, now we are starting to get smaller grabs. No. And this should finish it off. I there we go. Come in, Spire. This is Lady Powell. Greeting you, Commander. The steam tank has been destroyed. What about the iron cast? Worry not, Commander. We were able to neutralize it with an airship bomb and run. Return to the hangar to rearm and repair. And there we go. 130. A, a total rewards 160, 890. Okay, that was a that was a good payout. We could make the better shields with that. Another level. Shot Cannon Mark II and Heavy Cannon Mark II. We didn't actually use any of those overdrive uh, charges that we got, but oh well. Not the end of the world. Let's see. Iron Cast instantly repairs the most damaged subsystem to 100% health. 
take multiple damage, have equal damage, one is randomly repaired. Okay. Collect all the repair nodes from the grid. This is not classified as a match. So it earns no XP. Chance of your shields activating going into overdrive, automatically going into overdrive when activated are increased by 5%. Yeah, let's go with that. That'll save us uh, our repair that we can use on other things as well. And yeah, let's repair this thing. Only, you can only repair as much as you put into it. So eat one scrap is one HP da repaired. So you, you have to balance things out with your health and what you build. You, you always want a stash of scrap to repair. Makes sense. Okay. But uh, that'll be it for this stream though. So, yeah, maybe we could play this from time to time, just for half an hour or an hour or so. Because this, this would start to get a bit much on longer streams, perhaps. Yeah. Nope. This is definitely not a Saturday thing. It, yeah, this is only because that maybe works on some, day, some days. Well, we could use this as a ba another backup, yeah? Or at yeah. least a filler thing. Yeah, that's good Yeah, we, we can use this for fillers if we are uh, half an hour short on the stream by finishing it or something. Yeah, that could work. Okay, so Impossible Creatures goes to Saturday. Uh, ignition, uh, not really a show thing since, well, it, it's just really just seeing race cars bouncing around. I, I just wanted to show it off. <laughs> and yeah, this goes into the f into filler mode. Okay. Well, it's that time again, so thank you anyone who's been watching now, later on on YouTube. And as always, special thanks to you, Dirk, here. Oh, you're most welcome. And uh, yeah, this has been Something Sunday. Tuesday will be continuing with Iconoclasts. And uh, yeah, next Saturday, Impossible Creatures. Yay! But as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks!